welcome to episode 31 of Intense Wrestling's Mountain Top. We've got some great action for you tonight and the debut of our brand new general manager, Eric Schwartz. Let's get into the action. To start us off, we've got an amazing opener. It's Joe Average taking on the undefeated Brutus Armstrong. Now, Joe Average, he's a good wrestler. He's more capable than I think some people give him credit for. From Providence, Rhode Island, Joe Average. Saying that though, there have been a lot of surprises in VGIW, so anything could happen here. Joe Average is making his way down to the ring, and he is looking ready. Gotta wonder if there's a little bit of uncertainty in his stride though, knowing that this could be his hardest match to date. So far, no one has been able to pin or submit Brutus Armstrong in VGIW. He is undefeated. He has not been stopped yet, and Joe Average needs to do what so many have failed up until this point. Ooh, good luck to him, that's all I can say. Oh, here comes Brutus. From Geneva, Switzerland, Brutus Armstrong. There he is, the big man himself. Brutus Armstrong is here. Oh my god. This is going to be brutal. This is like. Even if Joe Average somehow pulls out the big W, I don't think he's going to be walking out the same. People get decimated when they step into the ring with this man. Brutus Armstrong is absolutely ready to go as ever. Business as usual for Brutus Armstrong. Oh my goodness, look at him does not seem to even acknowledge that Joe Average is there. He is just ready to go. Brutus Armstrong is going, like, the Brutus Armstrong, yes, that bicycle kick, which took out our own world champion, Wade Danielson, in a match. And he also has that superplex into a falcon arrow, which no one gets out of. Once that's it, once that's hit, the match is over, so Joe Average is going to have to be really smart, really clever, and unwilling to give up if he wants to win this one. Now the match is about to begin here. The referee checking up, and the bell has been rung. The match begins. Joe Average starting us off here. Oh, neck breaker right there. And Joe Average just getting right on the offense. He knows he needs to. He needs to be relentless. He needs to keep on the attack if he wants to beat Brutus. Oh, nice work there. Joe Average showing a nice bit of upper body strength there, being able to deadlift Brutus Armstrong, but Brutus in return. Oh, wow. Oh, Joe Average is back up. Brutus, though, with the reversal. And now Joe Average continuing to throw those strikes at Brutus. Oh, my God, Brutus, like a runaway freight train. Beal toss right there. And right now, Brutus gains control that easily, that quickly. That's why Joe Average's offense right in the early goings was so, like, necessary. Because you can't give Brutus a moment to breathe. Because when he does, when he gets that chance to fight back, you're going to suffer. Oh, my God. He tried a bicycle kick in. And again, another attempt at the bicycle kick. But it's no good. It is no good Brutus Armstrong survived it, and he's back on the attack. Big elbow drop right there. Green Joe Average back to his feet. Oh, he grabs him. Gonna go for a suplex. Lovely suplex. Oh my god, look at this. And again. Oh my god. Oh, he is bullying 
Joe Average here. Oh, Fisher and Suplex. One count and Joe kicks out. But that is not looking good for Joe Average right here. That has got to be... Oh, he's got to be not be feeling good at all right now. Joe. Oh, Brutus Armstrong in full control now at this point. Joe Average is completely out of it. Oh, Joe dodges the bicycle kick though. Brutus isn't going to let that stop him though. Boom! Just like that. Great work by Brutus Armstrong. Joe Average now trying to come back here with a shoulder back toss. Trying to stay in the fight here. Oh God, but no luck. Oh my God, taken down effortlessly by Brutus Armstrong. Brutus picks up Joe Average once again. Picks him up, look at that, a body press slam, military press slam, my God. That is a hell of a drop. And now Brutus Armstrong, Irish whip into the corner. Oh, Brutus Armstrong, I think I know what he's going for here. I think he's about to put this one away. Take a look at this, if you haven't seen it before, you are about to be amazed. Here it comes. The superplex into a falcon arrow. Boom! He's going for the pin. One, two, three. Brutus Armstrong wins. And what a win it is. Absolutely stunning performance by the undefeated Brutus Armstrong. Once again, dominating spectacularly in this match. Joe Average had little spurts of offense, but I'd say this was very much Brutus Armstrong's match. Absolutely remaining in control throughout that fight and ranking and collecting another check in the win column. Congratulations to Brutus Armstrong. I said it before, I'll say it again. The champions need to be kept on notice because the moment Brutus Armstrong decides he wants that title, it is game on. Next up, we've got a word from our new general manager, the first general manager of Intense Wrestling's Mountaintop. It's Eric Schwartz. From New York, New York, Eric Schwartz. There he is, the general manager of Intense on VGIW's Mountaintop. Eric Schwartz, we will also be hearing from Jim Blanc on uh, VGIW Genesis, who he's the general manager of Genesis and all, but for now we're going to get a hear from the A-Show's general manager. Now let's see, what is he going to say? What's his plans? I know Eric Schwartz has told me that he's got plenty of plans in the work to bring Mount Top to being the best wrestling, video game wrestling show on the planet. Oh, this is going to be good. I am excited for this. Eric Schwartz absolutely ready to go. Not a wrestler, obviously, as you can tell, but you don't need to be a wrestler to know how to run the business side of things. And Eric is a very successful businessman. Crap? Hmm, who's he on about there? Yeah, that's more than one person, I'm assuming. But who are he, is he on about? Who's the crap? Looks like he's gonna be weeding people out of BGIW's mountaintop. That is true. The, high, the slogan behind Intense Wrestling's Mountain Top is separating the best from the rest. So I guess in that respect, he's got a point. Oh, the Champions Challenge. Now, if you don't remember that, ladies and gentlemen, that was when we would get all the champions together in a big match and they would fight to see who is the best. Who stands atop the rest? Who is the absolute peak of VGIW right now? Oh, tonight! It's happening tonight! Oh my god. 
That is very true. The people in the back should stay tuned because you they are about to see the best of the best. The champions of VGIW. Oh my god, what an announcement from our general manager, Eric Schwartz, making a big explosive announcement for his debut. We've got one more match though before we can get to that explosive main event. We've got Pierre Poubal versus Mr. X in a singles match. Oh my god, I'm shocked. I'm genuinely, I'm excited. It's been such a long time since we've had that match. From Paris, France, Pierre Poubal. But, Shaw, while the wrestlers are going to be watching the wrestlers like Shaw, Shaw is going to have his eyes peeled on this match because of that man right there, Pierre, the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship this month. Pierre only recently debuted. His first match was in the number one contendership and he won. And he is now set to potentially become our next Intercontinental Champion. Pierre, the absolute, like, he is unlike anything else in VGIW. And he is ready to take on Mr. X, another person who is unique in his own right. I will say, Pierre, gonna have to be careful because. While there is Mr. X, there's also Kiln watching on. Pierre, looking undeterred, however, he is ready for this one. Oh, I am looking forward to this one. This is gonna be so good! Oh, man. Oh, here comes Mr. X. Here he is, Mr. X has arrived. From Blackpool, England, the Star X. Finest X Sports is here. Mr. X has arrived, and here comes his protege, Kiln. These two are making a devastating scene in the tag division. On one hand, you've got Mr. X. The experience, the strength, the domination. And then on the left there, in the black mask, you've got Kiln. Not as smart, but even more powerful. Even more devastating. Was able to beat the Reaper. That is no small feat. You have got to keep your eyes on Kiln, because Kiln is going to make waves. I am damn well certain of it. See Mr. Rex though, he is ready for this one. Oh my goodness. Mr. Rex. As Mr. X has gotten very close to success multiple times at this point. Like getting big time championships. You gotta wonder if that is also in his future. Or if we're starting to see Mr. X's twilight years, and that's why he isn't reaching that peak anymore. It's going to be interesting. I think Mr. X still has it, but it's going to be interesting to see. Oh, especially as the competition continues to ramp up. You've got so many great wrestlers in VGIW nowadays, and Eric Schwartz has made that declaration to ensure that VGIW's mountaintop gets better and better. So, that is going to be something to keep in mind here. Bringing Mr. X back up to his feet here. Oh, look at this. Oh, the force of that Irish whip and Mr. X ricocheting off of it. Picking him up. Oh, look at that. Oh, face first. Mr. X right now getting back up. He needs to hurry because Pierre is after him. My God. I've heard GHK Sam say that someone is like a fridge. I think it's very applicable to Pierre here. My God, in size, shape, and color. Oh my God, what a punch there from Mr. X. 
Looking to make that comeback in a huge way here. Big elbow drop, beautifully delivered, bringing Pierre back to his feet here. And now, oh, Pierre there, deflecting. Great work. Oh, what a dodge there. Oh, nice work right there. Oh, my God. What in the world was that? My God, Mr. X. I take it back. He is not past it yet. My God, how did Mr. X pull that off? That in-ring experience, that agility, that is unbecoming of someone his size absolutely phenomenal and Pierre now trying to make a comeback I imagine thrown off by Mr X's absolutely top tier offense Pierre bringing Mr X back up to his feet here now going for that Irish whip into the corner oh look at this what is this plan oh he's going for it the Frenchman is about to fall yes oh my god The Eiffel Tower connecting. Oh, now what's he planning here? Oh, twisting the arm, but oh. Mr. Rex, oh my God. What in the world was that? That was amazing. That is what you expect when you're watching BGIW's at Mountain Top. Oh, and now look at this. What is he planning here? Oh my god, he's not going to. Oh my god, he is. Mr. Rex is about to go coast to coast. He's flying from England to France. Oh my god. What a connect. That connect that was amazing. This match is over. Here we go. One to kick out oh my god a kick out at two that is remarkable right there bringing Pierre back to his feet now Pierre with the Irish whip over the ropes oh and a big blow right there and Pierre look how bad he is psyching himself up Kiln bringing Mr X back to his feet to try and help him up oh and it looks like it might have helped a bit oh back and forth right now Pierre getting back into the ring Mr. X chasing after. Irish whip against the ropes. Oh, that's under. Over. And a big kick to the face. And Pierre. Dan and Mr. X is absolutely jubilant at the moment. Going for a dragon sleeper. We have seen this end the match before. We saw Samuel end the match with a dragon sleeper. Oh, look at this again. Oh, my God. And a kick out. Wow. This is phenomenal. Oh, this is remarkable. Irish whip into the corner yet again. And Pierre. Oh, going for the Eiffel Tower once more. Look at this up and boom. And he is not taking any chances. Going for that pinfall. One, two, three. Pierre taking victory from the jaws of defeat right there. That match was looking to turn so badly for Pierre there. Mr. X absolutely went ballistic. Mr. X was closing in on that victory, getting so close, inches away, atoms away from victory. Pierre knew he needed to put this away and quickly. Hitting that second Eiffel Tower was able to do it. Now you see here, this is where Mr. X began his comeback. Pierre was great in the beginning, the middle was dominated by Mr. X, and then at the very tail end was Pierre able to reclaim the match. Mr. X showing that ability, being able to wrestle beyond his years. Absolutely outstanding performance. It's why I'm so high on Mr. X as a performer. The fact that he can do all that is incredible. I think a championship is in Mr. X's future, no doubt about it. Pierre though, with the victory this time around, and he is ecstatic. Holson Shaw's gonna have to keep his eyes peeled because I think Pierre is more than ready for that Intercontinental Championship match.
And now it's time for the main event of the evening. It's the Fatal 4-Way Champions Challenge. It's Wholesome Shaw, Kendrick Melandra, Eli T, and Wade Danielson. Elimination rules apply. Let's get into it. Oh, this is so good. So a Champions Challenge match, an Elimination Fatal 4-Way match, where you get the champions of your roster, of your brand. From Zurich, Switzerland, Kendrick Malandra. Ah, oh, it's still in sync. Their entrances are still in sync. Oh, I love to see it. You love to see it. Oh, this is going to be good. Kendrick Malandra, been around since the beginning. Kendrick, Eli and Wade have been around since the beginning. Wholesome Shaw, still a new wrestler and has rocketed to that Intercontinental Championship. So, you got to think, like, this is going to be huge for Shaw here. He is standing amongst people who have been around since the beginning of VGIW. Also, here's a thing. you got to be thinking that Genesis with Jim Blanc is going to be eyeing this up. Maybe been considering a return to the Champions Challenge themselves. Will we see a Champions Challenge in Genesis? Of course. The problem there is they only have two championships, whereas there's three championships and four champions in Mountaintop. Gonna wait and see there, I guess, to find out how they're gonna deal with that. But right now, Mountaintop with a beautiful Champions Challenge. Ah, oh, this is gonna be good. Kendrick is ready for this one. You can see it in his eyes. He is certain that he has got this one won already. Now, he has had, now to be fair to him, he has fought some high tier opponents like Hardcore Hank in the past. Well, in, you know, twice in fact. So, I can't blame him for thinking that way. From Buffalo, New York, Eli T. There he is. Oh, he is ready for this one. Eli T, the muscles behind Showtime. You've got to be careful, because if Eli T hits you with that speed force clothesline, you're done. It's over. You're out like a light. And he is ready. You can see it on his face. He is not wasting any time here. Now, Melandra might be all flair, all show, but Eli T is the businessman. He is the one who really brings the brutality to the team. Both have their assets. That's why they've stuck around for so long. I may think that they're a bit egotistical, but I can always commend a tag team on how well that they can coexist. And of course, they, in this match, there are no allegiances. They could fight each other in this match. Doesn't mean the partnership is over, but I could see them fighting each other to try and see, to try and win this match and see who is the best champion in BGIW. But here's someone who I think they're gonna have to be very, very wary of. From Venice Beach, California, Hossa Now if you're not aware, the Intercontinental Champion has a special stipulation to their belt. If you can hold on to that belt for six successful defenses, you will get a shot at the world title. You get a shot for the world title. That is exceptional. Now, I should point out that if you do that, then you will have to relinquish the Intercontinental Championship. Or, you know, you can hold on to it. Technically, you can, like, that championship shot is still there. You know, so you can hold on to it for as long as you want to wait till you lose it. But for some people, they're not going to want to wait. The World Championship is the top prize. So some people will relinquish it for an earlier shot. But speaking of, here's the World Champion. The man that Holson Shaw could one day face. From London, England, Wade Danielson. The top, the very top man of BGIW right now. Wade Danielson, the best high flyer an absolutely beautiful, just wonderful performer. We have seen some great world champions. The world championship has had, an, in my opinion, an almost 
spotless reputation. Even Aaron Storm is a pretty good performer, but you've got the likes of Xander Horace, the best pound for pound performer. You've got Hardcore Hank, who has been an absolute beast. You've got two-time world champion, the Reaper, who is an unmitigated force and gets into the heads of all his performers. And the latest champion, Wade Danielson, the best high flyer that BGIW has had. It's an absolutely flawless championship like reign, like set of champions. It's wonderful. The match is beginning here. We're seeing Wholesome Shaw go for Kenny Melandra and Eli T going for Wade here in this match. Now think about this. Kenny Melandra and Eli T. I mean, Kendrick Melandra and Wade Danielson nearly ended up facing each other. Oh, beautiful work right there. The first time they nearly fought each other was actually in the first ever World Series tournament. A World League tournament. It was the, in the first round, Kendrick Melandra fought Hanfel Hank and lost. Wade Danielson fought Herman and lost. Oh, wow! No, Wade Danielson fought Herman and won. If Kendrick had won the first match against Hardcore Hank, that would have been exceptional. Also, look at this DDT right there. That just reminded me, Kendrick's fought Hardcore Hank three times. That's insane. They've seen this match, there's a lot to cover at the moment. Kendrick Melandra and Holson Shaw brawling on the outside. Meanwhile, Wade Danielson trying to deal with Eli T, but Eli T, so strong, so powerful. What a neck break, and you heard it. It sounded like a bomb was being dropped. A oh, gut wrench right there by Holson Shaw. The two brawling on the outside. Now, they can't pin each other on the outside, but the impacts, the slams are going to hit that much harder. Eli T going for a pin. Oh, quick kick out though. Oh, onto the side of the ring and Kendrick Melandra folded like an accordion right there. You gotta think he is reeling from that one. Eli T, oh, away dodges it. Eli T runs rushing over and look at this. Oh, Tarantula from Wade Danielson. Oh, Wade Danielson, you're looking at you? Oh my god. Oh, face first in the steel set goes Kendrick Melandra and Eli T with a flip right there. Oh my god, sure is using those steps effectively there. Technically illegal, technically a legal move. Kendrick Melandra is out of it. Holson Shaw getting back into the ring. Way Danielson being flung! My god, yet again! Oh, look at this, taking the legs out of Wholesome Shaw. Eli T now going again for another flip. He is just toying with Wade Danson. Oh, oh my goodness, Eli T with the first blow to his partner there. Oh my God, and Kendrick is out. And Wholesome Shaw, Kendrick are both down and out. Wade Danson and Eli T back to brawling here. Wade rushing over. Oh, look at this Irish whip. Oh, oh, reversal there. Wait a minute. Oh! How did he manage to do that? He was he had to get his legs around Holson Shaw to do that flip. Sh Wade Danielson showing why he is just that damn good. What a match going on right now. Oh, look at this. Oh, Holson Shaw. I think he's about to be taken out. I think Wade's like, Shaw, you're gonna face me one day. You better be ready. Oh my god. And Shaw is out of it. Wade. Oh, Wade is going to the top rope, but Shaw is already up. Meanwhile, Malandra beating down Eli T. Wade with the DDT right there. Shaw. It's like, oh, I am absolutely ready for you, Wade Danielson. You can better believe it. Give me all that you've got, Wade, and I'll keep coming back for more. This is what you'll love to see. You'll love to see these champions hungry, wanting more. They already are at the top, but they know that this, that their legacy is still being forged and that they can continue to make themselves bigger and bigger. Henry Melanger now dominating Holson Shaw here. Holson Shaw getting out of that ring to try and give himself some time to breathe. But Kendrick Melandra chasing after Holson Shaw here. Big punch there and taking down Holson Shaw, bringing him back to his feet again. Oh, nice elbow to the face. Oh my god! Rare bit of force there from Kendrick Melandra. Oh, look at this. Whoa! Big back and forth right now, and a big brawl on the outside. Kendrick Melandra taking it back into the ring. Oh my god! Did you see the strength of Eli T? Meanwhile, Kendrick Melandra on the top. Big frog splash 
from Kendrick Melandra. Oh my god. How's Wade recovered from that power bomb? That's an unprotected bit of the ramp right there. Eli T back in the ring. Oh, look at this. Shaw and Kendrick Melandra still fighting here. Look at that nice gut wrench right there. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, Shaw with a big blow to Eli T's back right there. Oh, big knee to hold some Shaw. Oh, but Wade, he's starting to feel a bit weary here. Oh, my goodness. But he's not going to let that keep him down. He's not going to let that stop him. Look at this. Sure. Wade fighting through it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's looking to do this. We've seen this one before. Look at him go. <laughs> it never gets old. Oh, my God. And meanwhile, Kendrick taking out Eli. The crowd is right. This is awesome. Sure is still fighting, though. And Eli T dodging Kendrick, who was going for his finisher. Oh, man. Reverse DDT right there. And oh, atomic drop from Awesome Shaw to Wade Danielson. This match is amazing. Kendrick with the clothesline right there. And while Wade and Shaw fight on the outside, Shaw being taken to the inside, inside of the ring now. And oh, Wade is going right to the top rope. Shaw. Oh, he dodges the elbow drop. Wade jumping quite a distance. Meanwhile, Kendrick Melandra already celebrating. He is certain that victory is his. Oh, look at this. DDT from Wade Danielson. Oh, now Kendrick Melandra. Boom, with a rib breaker. Wade Danielson, though, sees Kendrick and hits him with the famous her. Eli is right back up. Big close eye from Eli T. Good Lord. This is why I say Eli T is the muscles of Showtime because he is so powerful. The only man that I've ever seen dominate Eli T is Hardcore Hank. Everyone else, they have to get the hell out of the way of Eli T. He is a next level muscle man. Look at this. Working over Wade Danson here. Wade getting back up. What a clothesline from Wholesome Shaw putting his all into it. And Kendrick Melandra though looking to endure it. Kendrick Melandra has proven that he is a surprisingly durable competitor. Having matches with the likes of Hardcore Hank, he lasted it for a surprisingly long time. Oh, look at this now. Big DDT right there from Eli T. Kendrick's back in. Chest chop and a big shoulder tackle. Oh, Kendrick Melandra dominating Eli T here. Wade Danielson's getting back into that ring. Oh, and he is ready. A nice arm drag there from Eli T. Going for sure here. While Eli T, DDT, knocks out. Kendrick who rolls out of the ring not wanting any part of Eli anymore realizing that he was outmatched there oh what is Eli planning oh my god no no way no he's not good god good god oh my god how much punishment has Shaw taken in this match they are absolutely breaking in the new champion on the block. This is a huge fight. Shaw has taken so much abuse, yet refusing to stay down is back up again. He is in and he is ready to go. Going for a submission here. Meanwhile, Kendrick Melandra did it away, Danielson. Look at that, the way he's stretching Eli T, but Eli T with the escape here. Kendrick Melandra going for a pin on the world champion. Eli T's being false clothesline. Two count. Wade kicks out. Shaw sticking through it, through a speed force clothesline and all. Oh my god. And now look at this. Oh, Manhattan drop. Oh, that is nasty. And Shaw is happy. He is staying strong in this one. He has endured so much punishment, so much pain, but he is not letting that get him down. He is staying strong in this one. Getting out of the ring, though. Staying smart. Hurricane Rana from Wade Danielson into a pin. One. No, Eli broke it up. There is still a partnership there. And he is not going to let his tag team partner get taken out first. That is very... That is very chivalrous, but I don't know if Kendrick is going to return that favour. Wade pushing Eli T away. Oh, Eli T going for Kendrick. I think he's decided he doesn't want to keep fighting Wade. 
But Wade is like, hang on, hang on, hang on. You can't just pretend I'm not here. DDT from Wade Danielson. And now Wade going for Kendrick Melandra here. Oh, oh low blow. Low blow. Ah, oh, that is devastating. That is Jesus Christ. Absolutely dirty tactic right there. Ah, oh, lovely suplex. Meanwhile, oh my God, what's Kendrick planning here? What is Kendrick planning here? Going for Eli T. Oh my God, look at this. No, my God, oh my God. Apron powerbomb. Oh, and a huge smack on the back of Wholesome Shaw here. Good Lord. Eli T is out. Wade Danielson still recovering. Right now, Shaw and Kendrick Melandra brawling on the ramp. Oh, nice work there by Kendrick Melandra in this back and forth. Eli T now trying to take out two for one here. Oh, big chop right there. Wade watching it on as Eli T attempts to fight everyone. Kendrick rushing over to Wade Danielson. Eli T considering whether he should go after. He is. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Up and down. Eli's decided Kendrick has it in hand. He's going for Holson Shaw here. And now Kendrick dragging Wade Danielson going for that pinfall. One, two, and a kick out at two. Oh, look at this now bringing Wade back to his feet. But Wade taking down Kendrick Melandra. Eli T going for Holson Shaw here. Oh, bringing Kendrick back to his feet. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, what is... Oh, God, that, did you see that scoop slam onto the ramp? That is devastating. Meanwhile, Kendrick Maladra beating up the world champion. Oh, beautiful release Tiger suplex from Kendrick Melandra. So far, we have not seen a single pin that has gone to the free count. One, two, oh, kick out at two. Wade is still in this one. Still no free counts yet. Oh, my God. Look at Shaw. Boom, onto the LED of our ramp. That is vicious. Oh, man. That is horrific. Meanwhile, Kendrick Maladra still working over Wade Danielson here. Oh, what a power bomb from Eli T onto that ramp. That is agonizing. No protection at all. Every slam hurts all the more ribs first. And I think Shaw is out of it. I don't know if he's even fully conscious anymore. Wade Danielson, meanwhile, looking to try and deal with Kendrick Melandra here. Look at this. Wade Danielson looking to make his big comeback. Lovely neck breaker right there. And now bringing Kendrick back to his feet. Kendrick with the arm drag. Olsen Shaw looking to make a comeback against the Eli T here. You see a test of strength right there. Now series of blows. Kendrick Melandra. Oh, Wade Danielson. Wade Danielson. Oh, I think I know what Wade's going to go for here. Oh, Wade Danielson, what's he going for? Oh, look at that lovely work. Meanwhile, a nice flip there, sending Shaw even further out. Dragon Sleeper. I think that's a Dragon Sleeper, but it's too close to the ropes. The rope ref calls for the rope break there. Kendrick Melandra snapping the arm of Wade Danielson here. Irish whip over the ropes. Wade Danielson clinging on. Kendrick Melandra going after. The, going over to the ramp. I think he's decided better, thought better of it. Shaw saw the opportunity though. He's rushing to the ring. He's rushing for Kendrick. Kendrick saw it coming, but oh! Wasn't able to react in time. And Shaw is on fire! Goes on to Kendrick. Scoops on the way. Climbing up to the top rope now as Eli T makes his way over. Oh, Shaw is about to make a big difference here. Look at this. Oh, no way. Gets out of the way for the elbow drop. And now Irish whip into the corner. Oh, Shaw, I think. No, he is staying in this one. Oh, God, no. I think Wade's about to put Shaw away here. Oh, it's over. I think it's over. Oh, this is going to be a shame after everything. Boom. Oh, Shaw endured so much. One, two, three. I gotta give it a shot though. He took so much abuse and sport so valiantly. But in the end, it was just all too much. Eli T has just taken out the referee. What is going on here? Oh my goodness. 
And you can see there! Kendrick now going for the pin, but the referee is down! Do you think that was the plan for Eli? Stopping Kendrick, knew Kendrick could pull a fast one on him, and now Eli are about to put it away, but Wade's back in! Oh, Wade stops Eli's plan! Eli's smarter than you might think, he is incredibly intelligent. He's just, oh my goodness. Oh, look at this now. Oh, back of the head there. Wade now. Jawbreaker to Kendrick Melandra. Big clothesline. Bringing Kendrick back to his feet here. Meanwhile, Eli T getting back on his. Oh, look at this. Big punch. Oh, and Kendrick's been busted open. Northern Light suplex from Eli T. And now smacking the back of the head of Wade Danielson. Oh, going for the pin here. One. Breaks it up. Kendrick. Not happy with Eli T here. Oh, look at this. The two of them are back coming up blows here. Oh, Kendrick's trying again. He's trying again. He's going for that pin. One, two, three. And it's between Kendrick Melandra and Wade Danielson now. Wade's back on his feet. A big punch. Racing over. Trying to get to the top rope. Trying to get over the strength. And he's gonna look for something big here. Oh, Kendrick getting back up to his feet. Oh, it's we're in the wind. Oh my God! We're in the way. Yes, here he goes. He's going for it now. The 450 splash connects. Does the world champion have it? Does the world champion have it? You can see him clutching his ribs. He is taking so much abuse in this match. One, two. Three, Wade Danielson wins the Champions Challenge. What a performance from all four competitors. Wholesome Shaw was the first out, but took so much punishment, had so many great spurts in that match, just so much offense. Absolutely just spectacular. Eli T and Kendrick Melandra, while they did fight at times, they showed that tag team partnership as they helped each other out repeatedly in the match. And they both did amazingly, showing why they are two-time tag team champions. And then you add Wade at the end, staying strong, staying consistent, managing to win the fight. That is why he's our world champion. We hope you enjoyed this episode of BGRW's Mountain Top. If you did, remember to leave a like on this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell, and share this video with your friends to get more friends to get more eyes on the channel. We'll see you next time.